Hi everyone, my name's Faye and I'm back with another video showing you what sold over the weekend. Um, I, together with my husband Simon, we are FNS resellers and we sell full time on eBay and Amazon. Um, mainly items that we've um, sourced from auctions and charity shops, um, but we do pick up in other places too. Now, I've, this is the second time I've started filming this because Simon normally sets it all up. Um, but I was like, no, I'll do it. He's cutting the grass. So, uh, yeah, it's been a very quiet, well, I'd say the last, was the weekend before last quiet? I can't remember. Um, but at least the last week has been very quiet. And I know a lot of people are, f are feeling it as well. Um, which is a shame, um, especially because we, I mean, we don't cover every category on eBay by any means, um, but we do like to spread ourselves out across categories. So clothing, toys and games, media, health and beauty, um, homeware, bric-a-brac, collectibles. We do loads of different bits and bobs. So I don't know what's going on, um, but I've got a load of stuff to show you. It's real life. It's just, this is actually what's sold. And I'm going to tell you what we paid for it and what it sold for. Um, and yeah, you can just see what it's like to be a reseller at the moment. So first of all, I'm going to show you this. Now, I didn't post a haul on here. Um, it was kind of a bit of a unexpected haul. I popped into Boots for something last week and I had a quick look at their clearance section and picked up a load of stuff. I must have picked up at least 20 items, spent £105. Most of it has gone into Amazon FBA, but I've sold three things. Um, or I listed some, I think I listed about 10 things on eBay um, that couldn't be listed on Amazon, and three have sold already. Uh, so one of them is this. So it's called Viviscal. Oh, now my computer's frozen. Here we go. Viviscal Hair Growth Programme for Women, 180 tablets, which is three months worth. Um, it's a food supplement. It must have been on the um, on the clearance section because Boots are either discontinuing this brand or maybe the brand have changed their packaging uh, because it's still well in date. They don't expire till August 2022. Uh, so this packet cost me five pounds and it sold for 74.99. So remember, I spent 105 pounds on everything. And I've got another one and I sold this one. It was five pounds and it sold for 74.99. So super chuffed with those. I also picked up this. It's um, contact lens cleaning solution stuff, Bausch and Lom Renew uh, contact lens solution, two pack, uh, brand new. This cost me two pounds from Boots last week and it also, this one sold for 14.99. So I've made my money back, super happy. And uh, yeah, just remember to look whenever you're out, food shopping, uh, out with the kids shopping, just have a look. You, like this, you can flip things out, supermarkets and all sorts. So don't just think it's charity shops and car boot sales. Um, next up is another newly listed item. It's a Rafa cycling cap. And this, uh, well, I had two Rafa and one coat as a and the coat is sold first. This is the sec this is the first raffle to sell. So out of the three, I've only got one left now, and I only listed them last week. So really happy with that. So look out for decent brand cycling hats. Um, all of the ones I picked up were second hand. Uh, this is a Forza. It says it on the label inside, um, and it cost one ninety nine, and it sold for seventeen pound fifty. This is one Simon picked up recently. He sort of went high on this um, just to see what he could, if he could get any interest. Um, he listed it last week. There are 10 Philips DVD plus RW blank DVDs. And he paid a pound for this pack and he sold it for $32.99. <laughs> so we have had some good sales, but it's just the number of sales is just so low. Uh, oh, another quick flip. This was in a haul video. Recently, it's a Downton Abbey DVD, is it series four? Yeah, we've put, we had three, four and five, I think. And we've tried, mainly the plan is with DVDs, we send them into Amazon and sell them on there. Um, but this one had a bit of a problem. Uh, so we had to do um, seller fulfilled. There was like a bit of a glitch on the listing or something. Um, so it, got, it sold within 48 hours of listing it for 20 quid. 
can't remember how much we paid, a couple of quid max, but yeah, sold for, I think it was 20 pound and 4p or something. So good one. This one, not so good. Had these for ages. Um, I'm Alan Partridge, series one and two. Um, listed these in August last year. They were in a probably a big bundle from the auction. The cost was two pound sixty three, and they sold for four ninety nine. But we've got the the um, DVDs from the auction because there were some titles in there that we knew we could have made good money on. Oh, just bear with me. Just pop these out of the way. Yeah, Simon's cutting the grass because I'm banned from cutting the grass. Um, the last two times I cut the grass, I mowed over the wire and then the other time I nearly cut my foot off and it's kind of given me PTSD. So <laughs> I don't do it. And plus we've got like one of our bits of gardens over half an acre and <sighs> boring. Uh, we don't have a ride on lawnmower. It's a push one. <laughs> um, okay. Next up is a sports t-shirt. It's just Adidas, own the run t-shirt in large, nothing special. It came from the auction. Um, it cost two pound and six P. I've got this as listed in June. I think it's because this was a return because it had a pull on the fabric. Um, so Simon relisted it and it sold for 10 pounds 28. Uh, sea salt skirt. This didn't sell as quickly as I wanted it to. Um, this was listed in April. It cost four ninety nine. It's the motif skirt. It's a size twenty as well, uh, and I just took an offer of fifteen pounds. Another item I just wanted to get rid of are these drawer liners. They are the Master Herbalist. That's the brand. They were in a job lot from the auction of homeware items. Um, this worked out at £8.81 cost price. Now, there would have been something in that homeware bundle that I was willing to pay high for. Um, so, uh, it meant the cost price for everything else in there was still high, but I wouldn't have bought it if um, if there wasn't value in there. Um, but I can't remember what that item was now. <laughs> um, but this was listed in February and it sold for £13.50. They're the sort of things that you just want to sell through quick because like they're scented, the scent's going to wear off. Um, this was an auction in the auction hat bundle. It's a Dorothy Perkins sun hat. It's brand new and sealed, still with the tags on it. Um, yeah, there's the tags. There's Dorothy Perkins, yeah. And uh, this cost $1.93 in November and it sold for $8.79 trying to get rid of stuff like that because less and less people are going on holiday. I don't know about you, but our holiday's been cancelled. It'll be the second year in a row, so it's been rescheduled to the same week next year. Good luck, everybody. Uh, a scarf. This is a pull and bear scarf hair wrap. Um, blue and floral and white. Um, you can use it as a belt or a headband. Uh, on the, it's brand new with tags. On the Pull and Bear website, there was loads of ways you could wear it. And this cost one ninety three out of a hat and scarf bundle in December, and it sold for eight ninety nine. It's going abroad GSP. I did have this cross listed for Depop, but it sold on eBay, like most things. Another item that's been hanging around a long time is this blazer. It's M&S limited edition. It's checkered single breasted blazer in a size eight. I never uh, pick up size eights out of choice. Um, I had, this has been listed since August last year and it cost 4 99 so maybe I did buy it. I think like, maybe it was on the wrong hanger or something, I don't know. Goodness knows why I got it. But um, I took an offer of 9 99 because we've had it way too long. Uh, this was a good sale. Now, how do I say this? Mage, Marge, Marge, M-A-J-E. Uh, it's a poncho and it's 22% wool. This cost 3 25 in January in a big auction bundle of clothes and it sold for £25.49. I had it on for a little higher um, and we just kept reducing the price. I had it cross-listed to Vinted and Depop, um, but it sold on eBay. I think that's going abroad as well, yes. 
Uh, I won't take this out of the box, um, but it's a, you'll see them in all good charity shops. It's a dessert spoon set. So one large serving spoon and then six smaller spoons. Um, cost £1.61. That to me is a auction price. This must have been in an auction hall. Uh, listed it in March and sold for £7. These are ten a penny. The spoons are kind of like a, got like a scalloped pattern to them. They're everywhere. This is a bad buy. It's such a positive video, isn't it? Uh, but it's real life. Uh, this is a, a set of, and I'm not pin, picking up flipping mats anymore, Pimpernel or any mats. They might sell for you, but they don't sell well for me, whether they're a pound or 50 pounds. So these ones are Pimpernel and National Trust Sour Head Place Mats. There's six coasters and six um, actual place mats. Uh, they are white and blue, a very sort of bright blue. Um, Together, the whole lot cost twelve fifty. I think I was just getting overexcited. I remember picking these up on the first day the Chazers opened um, in April, um, and yeah, just got carried away with myself. Uh, I thought I could get a lot more for them because they were a full set. They were in the box. Um, they're a very funky pattern, but I only got twenty two. So we'll move on. Some breakables. Now I didn't um, prepare and unwrap them first, so um, it's because I'm all out of sync. Because I normally do this in the morning, I do my video in the morning, but it's the afternoon because I went put to a chasm this morning. Um, didn't do too well in there. Actually, we went to two chasms. Was it two? Yesterday. Because we went to, oh God, it's just a nightmare. So yesterday we went to the auction to pick up a load of stuff. Because I went on Friday night, Simon was at the football. What, he was at a friend's house watching the football. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a pizza and I'm going to scour the auction catalogue. Um, and because it's on a Saturday. So I put some auto bids in and just left it. And then I got an invoice on uh, Saturday evening saying I successfully won four or five lots. Um, paid less than £100 for a load of stuff. How they let people put this stuff in the auction is beyond me. Um, so the, the pictures are limited online, um, but I basically picked up a load of rubbish. So I think I'm gonna have to book a slot at the tip. <laughs> there, there is some good glassware in there, um, but there's, I mean, some of it's awful. There was lampshades that looked all right in the picture, but they're stained, so um, get rid of them. Um, I can't remember what else there was. I can't remember, I might do a haul or a video or something about it. Um, but before we picked that up yesterday, we went to a couple of charity shops. And the first one, I didn't get anything. And all the women in there that worked there were just moaning and moaning and moaning about how they need to sort out stock rotation because stuff had been on the sh same stuff had been on the shelves for five months. And you could, they were just taking stuff off the shelves and just dragging it along the floor. Um, I was just standing there thinking, oh my God. Um, so then Simon got a few bits in there. He reckoned he got over a hundred pounds worth of profit in there. I didn't get anything. Um, and then we went to another one, which we normally do quite well in. And I didn't get anything again. And I had a good old look, but stuff was just really overpriced. Um, so Simon again got some, I don't know if he got any DVDs or if he's got just games, um, but there was things in there that were more expensive than they were on Amazon and eBay, so um, that was disappointing. So yeah, I completely, completely and utterly blanked yesterday. Um, it was a shame, um, but never mind. Right, this actually sold while I was touching it. Um, I was picking stock to prepare for this video and I had to move this out of the way while I was looking for something else. I had my phone in one hand because I was looking to see what sold on the app and I got an offer through for the actual thing that was in my hand. Uh, what are the chances? So I took it and this is a tea clipper by Wittard of Chelsea. Um, in the haul video that I did with this mug, um, 
I picked this up just because someone I got chatting to, was it Kev the reseller? I can't remember now. Uh, but they pick up Wittard and Chelsea mugs all the time and I've just always left them behind. And I quite like selling mugs because I find them really easy and stress-free to um, list and do the photos for. So this cost me a pound and I took an offer of 9 99 So that suits me fine. And that, that's only listed this month as well. So we like that. Um, what else have I got here? One of these, I think this is the last one. Uh, picked these up recently and I, we nearly didn't because I didn't want to, but Simon was like, no, I think they sell. Uh, but this is the Coca-Cola can glass in turquoise, limited edition from McDonald's in 2009 cost £1.50 in May and sold for £10.99. They've all, um, all the other ones cost for 50p and they all sold for 9 99 or 8 99 um, But yeah, really good, really good, pleased with those. So well done, Simon. If you're, when you watch this, I'm saying well done. <laughs> um, next up is this Price and Kensington Jug and Sugar Bowl uh, Chicken and Heart Shabby Chic Tableware. They're unused, they cost 161 in an auction pickup in March, and <clears throat> we reduced the price to get them gone to 11 pounds. Um, another breakable item is Hornsey Saffron. This could be the last Hornsey we've got, I think. Um, it's a coffee storage jar, because it says coffee, and it's got the wooden lid, no chips or cracks. Um, Described it quite well, took a picture of the top, underneath the top, inside, the bottom, and then four and four different positions on the sides. Uh, that cost £1.35 in an auction lot in March, and that sold for £10. Uh, a game. This was the one that I couldn't find, so every time I pick stock, there's always something that gives me a little heart attack, and this was that. Uh, this is called Sust, All Sorts Card Children's Educational Skill and Action Board Party Game. Cost £2.11 in March. Uh, this was in a toy bundle from the auction and it sold for £11.99. Never actually heard of it. Uh, this hoodie. This was expensive. This was in an auction lot of clothes. It's basketball it's nba los angeles clippers men's hoodie um brand new cost 10.97 in february as part of an auction lot and it sold for 22 pounds there would have been something that i wanted in that lot again that i was willing to pay um a high price for and obviously split that high price across the rest of the items in the bag um but yeah this, this is worth 22 so that's what it sells for These were a bad buy from a charity shop a long, long time ago. Um, I always thought like hideous stuff sells well, but maybe they're not that hideous. Uh, the brand is Yull, Y-U-L-L, -L, London, court shoe, size six, um, block heel, slip on, new no box, cost eight pound in October, and got rid of them for 10 pound 39. See you later, pink shoes. Uh, got another mug here. Here yeah, and here. It's a Disney wraparound mug. I do like to pick these up. So a lot of them, you can get them in all sort of Disney characters. This one is Winnie the Pooh, uh, Windy Day. And it's made in the UK, which normally they're made in Japan. Uh, this was a pound and this is going abroad as well. All of, anything that goes abroad that we sell goes GSP. And this sold for 15 99 So that's a good one. Next up is a paperweight. Not so much of a pretty paperweight though. This one was in a job lot from the auction. I think it's a military um, sort of commemorative thing. It's got it written down on here. It's Ubique. Oh, someone might tell me how to say this correctly, so I'm really sorry if it's so wrong. Ubique Quofas et Gloria Dupont paperweight. And this is clear glass, Royal Artillery Military. It cost £2.59 in March and sold for £14.44. There was quite a few for sale when I listed it. Um, so I'm pleased that it's gone. Um, this one is in a recent video. Simon actually picked this up. He likes to convince himself that stuff 
glows uranium. Just because something's green glass, so it doesn't mean it's uranium glass. You need a black black light or UV torch um, to test it. But <clears throat> this does glow. Have I got my torch? No. I'll show you. But it's a retro green glass jug. It's Art Deco style. Um, it's vintage and it glows with a UV light. We've got these little torches. They don't cost much on Amazon. We've got two for about for less than a tenner. Uh, and they're good to take out with you just to shine on green glass because um, sometimes you can see a lot of it. It costs two pounds. It does have a slight chip, which I declared in the listing, which meant it only uh, sold for £10.39. Couple of cherished teddies. I won't take these out. These are just ones from a massive pickup last May. I mean, I don't think there's any left now. Um, we have like made a profit. Uh, however, as I've said in previous videos, loads of them were damaged, and she, the woman that sold them was selling them for her daughter, and she didn't know that they were damaged. Whatever. Um, anyway, so this is Child of Love and a Child of Hope. They're tiny little ones. Uh, they cost 40p and sold for 5.99. And then oh, a bra. This bra was from a, um, an auction job lot. It cost one pound seventy six. It's ex Debenhams stock. It's actually an Elomi Il um, branded bra. It's the the shape is Morgan toasted almond. Um, it's a full cut branded bra. Uh, banded bra, sorry, in 40E. It's brand new with tags, they're in there somewhere. It cost £1.76 in March and it sold for 15 So that's the lot. That's everything that sold from Friday lunchtime up until Tuesday lunchtime. And I mean, for us, because we do this full time and, and we spend a, like, a lot of time, we just spend longer, um, <clears throat> but we do spend a lot of time sourcing. Listen, we've got some cracking things for sale, but something's going on. Don't know what. Um, has it been slow for you or has it been good for you? Like, let me know. Um, add a comment. I'd love to know how things are going. If you've got any uh, anything that you think helps um, your sales do really well at the moment, let us know um, and we can share it. But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, um, follow us over on Instagram as well. It's interesting because the amount of views we get compared to the number of subscribers we get is just so off like so many people watch our videos that don't subscribe so please subscribe uh, you'll then find out when our new videos are launching um but yeah thank you very much for watching and i will catch you next time have a great one bye